Welcome back to Florenza for year number two of us being rich people, you know, who really could be spending all their money to help the poor and the needy and to improve education and all that, but nah, 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 nah. We're all about just our own personal glory, building wonderful works of art, which, to be fair, will stand the test of time and people will go to museums um, you know, centuries in the future. But anyway, that's what we're all about, so let's start. And this time we're in round two, so we get to do these things. Beginning of every round, we collect income. And see, everybody gets the same income. 200 bucks, plus a wood, plus a marble, plus something. We never know what that is. So let's each take our 200 bucks. And you can see, I'm left over with one stone. And Jen was left over with 300 bucks and a gold leaf. So anyway, so we each get 200 bucks, so Jen is loaded. Whereas I'm, I'm doing okay, but Jen's doing great. And then we each get one stone and one marble. Every turn, guaranteed. And now we roll the die because every round we will also get one additional cube and we never know what it's gonna be. Always a little bit of surprise. A four, that is a red. So we each get some red die, I suppose. So there we go. So that was in, oh wait, no. But then we also potentially get income if, um, if we had built any of these works of art. If I had built this, I would get an income of another worker. If I had built this, I'd get an income of another influence with the church. If I had built this, an extra um, victory point. But nobody built any, or built, nobody commissioned any works of great works of art in the city. However, I do get additional income from my Palagio that you remember I built. So I get another hundred and a worker and a victory point. So boom, here we go. On to the victory point track. So I'm one point ahead. So I'm already in the running to be captain of the guard again. Now, oops, I also forgot. Part of our base income, in addition to the 200 bucks, the wood, the marble, and the roll of die is four workers. So we each get four workers. But I've got five because of my Pelagio, and Jen just has four. Okay, but Jen, as you can see, is Miss Moneybags over here. Okay, so that was it for collecting income. Now, the captain of the people does his business, and I am the captain of the people. What that means is I have a choice. I can either, well basically, I'm gonna arrest somebody. I don't have to, but I can arrest somebody. And that can either be one of Jen's workers, and that basically means her worker is removed. It, uh, it goes over there in jail and won't get out until um, the end of the round, basically. Is that right, is that where it goes? Yeah, I think that's where it goes, over with the soldier. Or instead, I could arrest one of these artisans. And yeah, I take their little uh, chip and that goes into the prison. Now the interesting thing about the artisans is, suddenly that means nobody can hire him except for me. Because as the captain of the people, I, after, I've, after I've arrested this guy, I can still hire him. So really what that means is, I could reserve somebody, and now actually, well that, there is an interesting reservation to do right now. If I were to um, arrest Leonardo da Vinci, I'm basically arresting the only good sculptor on the board because everybody else is an artist. There's only one sculptor out. And so if there were multiple, if I really wanted to do a beautiful sculpture uh, this turn, like here, the pulpit in the, in the Duomo, or where's another dedicated sculpture? Yeah, because a lot of these you can do a sculptor or a, or a architect. Or you're on my own. I think I've got some places where I need to have a sculptor. Well, actually, I don't know. There's not that many places. Um, but like I said, if I wanted to go to the Duomo and I was afraid somebody else might grab Leonardo before me, I could arrest him, and that means only I would get him. But I'm not too wor terribly worried about that. And instead, I think I am going to arrest one of Jen's workers. Boom. <laughs> it's a bit of a corrupt captain of the people, but you know those are the perks of the job. That's it for the captain. And now the bishop. If there was a bishop, the bishop now has two choices as well. Now, nobody's the bishop. You know, Jen's got one point, but she would have to get three points before she could become the bishop. The bishop can either um, exile one of the priests. So there's two priests out right now. Jen could exile one of them so they wouldn't be available for the whole turn, much like, you know, me arresting. But they wouldn't even be available to Jen. Even Jen couldn't use them. But more important, what's more likely to be done is Jen can convert somebody's worker. So she could, you know, after she arrested one of my guys, I could say, hey, you know that worker? I'm going to convert him. And so he would go away and Jen would get an extra worker back. So really, in a two-player game, the captain and the bishop kind of cancel each other out to a certain extent in terms of this. But you know, with more players, obviously, it becomes more interesting of who gets hit and all of that. But anyway, so but anyway, nobody's the bishop, so we're skipping the bishop phase. And now we go back to worker placement. I'm the captain. I still go first, and I've got five workers. Let's see. And now I'm going to be a jerk. And zoop, 
I'm gonna come over here and use Jen's lumber mill that she worked so hard to get and then right off the bat, I'm gonna be the one that gets the benefit. I'm gonna be the first person to generate two goods. I get this two wood. And Jen's like, hey, gosh darn it. And, you know, and, and that could have royally scuppered whatever plan she was going for. She might have needed that two wood because she was gonna use it to build a Casamento or a Manera or whatever, and now suddenly, boom, all her plans have changed just like that. But on the flip side, I did lose a point. So now I'm right back down to Jen because I'd gained a point from my uh, Palagio and I've just lost it again. Oh, but, and Jen has gained one, so he flipped. So now Jen is in the lead. She's, uh, it's, it's her captain of the people to lose. But in the meantime, I took all of her wood and she is most unhappy about that. Now Jen is down to three workers. Let's see. And I know she is very worried about me stealing her other stuff too, so she is definitely going to go to her own building before I do. Since, you know, I don't really have that much in the way of generating, you know, this is the only place you can generate marble, so Jen's going to go here before I steal it from her. Okay, now on my turn again. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, where am I going to go? Now, I, I got to be thinking about what do I want to do? What is my big idea for this round? And I'm thinking I do want to do a, uh, 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 an artwork out here on the board so I can start getting some income. So I might want to ask myself, do I want to start getting victory point income or church income or worker income or victory, you know, or, um, but actually I think this one, this, the atrium of the bank is a very special one. This one gives me a choice. At the beginning of every round, I can either take one gold or I can trade a gold in for 200. So I think I want to build that. Plus it'll be worth five points. So that'd be pretty good. But as you can see, it requires 200 bucks and um, four cubes, so it's pretty expensive in, in this early game. Later in the game, that wouldn't be such a big deal, but right now, that's gonna be tough. But if I just look what I got here, I've got, well, I've got a lot of wood now, and I've got a stone, and I've got a red, and so I would just need a, um, a gold. And what do you know, I happen to have my own gold generating place, so why don't I go there before Jen grabs my gold out from underneath me as retaliation for me grabbing her wood? Okay. Right, and now it is Jen's turn. She's down to two workers now. Hmm, let's see. Well, I think she's gonna have to go to the pulpit like she did last time, because she now needs more workers, because I, you know, and you know what? Her favorite, what's his name? Uh, Tommaso Di uh, you know, Anquico, or uh, Aquino? Yeah, yeah, Tommaso Aquino is still around, so Jen's gonna hire this guy again. And remember, now hiring the clergy, going to donations is the only thing you do immediately. So Jen does this immediately. She pays his 150 and you know, puts him here. And then she rolls the die to see what she gets. And she, ooh, a six. That means she gets four workers. One, two, three, four. So that makes up for all the workers she lost due to my, uh, what's it? Let's see. All right, and now it's my turn again. Let's see. So now I am going to, what was I going to need? Okay, I'm going to get my gold. That's what I'm going to need there. So I still have a bunch of resources left over. I think I'm going to want to build something else. Let's go, I'm going to build something. Now I've got two wood and an ivory left over. I get, just with two wood and nothing else, I could build a casa. And, which is another thing that just guarantees income for me for the rest of the game, but I've already got the best one of those. Plus, that's not even, let's see. What, would I, what could I build with two wood and, a, and, a, uh, and an ivory, or a, a marble, might you ask? Or a Cosmento, an upgraded version. Um, or the Biblioteca, which just starts earning victory points for me every turn. Or victory points for whoever uses it. That's pretty cool. I like that. And it's five victory points when I build it. So that's pretty cool. Because I would like to score a lot of points. Wow, if I could build this plus this, that's ten points in one turn. That would be huge. But I need 200 bucks. Plus I would need to hire somebody to do it. Now I've got 300. Let's see. Oh, I need 200 bucks for this as well. So I need... Um, mm. Okay, I like this though. This looks pretty good. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to, before Jen could do it, I'm gonna come here so I'll be able to get another good and I'm gonna need that good. Oh, wait, no, no, I'm gonna get that good too late because I go to the market because I need another good that I could sell to get more money because I'm gonna need 400 bucks. I'm gonna need 200 bucks to build a biblioteca and 200 bucks to build the atrium. So that's 400 bucks plus and I've only got 300. So I would have to get some more money. Oh, I could go to Jen's, and I could turn 200 into 300 right there, but I'd lose another point. But if I'm gonna score these 10 points, I think I'm gonna stay way ahead. So yeah, I think I'm gonna come over here. Um, which means I'm gonna basically lose another point, Jen gains another point. 
But if all goes according to plan, let's see, that means I will be able to do that before I do the artwork. So that's gonna give me another 100. That's gonna give me 100 that I need towards that. Let's see. And now I wanna have some more money left over to be able to hire artists to do this, but if I need to, I could just use the crappy artists who don't really give very good return, but don't cost anything. So I'm less worried about money, plus I just got some money there. So that's pretty cool. All right, so anyway, that was my next action. Now I've got two more. And those two more are gonna to have to be um, placing here and placing there, right? Which means why be able to go to the market. No, I, I won't be able to go to the market, but I'll be turning 300 and 400, so yeah, yeah, that's all good, I think. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, because here's the problem. The order is gonna be first, uh, no, no, I do my market. If I don't go to the market at all, I go to district activities, which means I will build this. I'll lose 200. Only, oh wait, no. No, but I will activate this first, so I'll get the extra money before I build this. So the turn order is gonna work out fine. I'll get the extra money and then I'll build this. I'll have the 400 I need, okay, cool. So anyway, that was my turn. I grabbed Jen's thing and now it's Jen's turn again, right? Have I lost track? Yes, and what is she gonna do? She's really unhappy about me taking all her stuff, although it is earning her points. Let's see, now I haven't really thought much about what she's gonna do. I think she really wants to double down on trying to work her way up to get to the bishop. And so I think she wants to build this, this focaccia in her own, uh, geez, uh, whatever. That takes um, three marble. And she's got one, two. She needs one more marble. So she's going to need to go to the market. But she doesn't have to rush on that. But that, the market will be where she buys her third marble. So she'll have all that. So she's definitely going to be able to build this. She knows she's going to do that. But what else is she going to do? Is she gonna build another thing? Or should she try to build something? Let's see, if she, if she, get, she has a marble, she's gonna generate a marble, she, all right, so that would be the marble, yeah, and this would be the 200, she has to pay for a marble, and here's the, and the marble up there. So that's covered. That leaves her with all of this. Could she build something else with all of that and 150 bucks? Let's see, and remember, she could come over here and she could get a red cube if she wanted. So, well, let's look at the shop. And you know, um, brown, red, and gold, what would that buy for her? I have no idea. Is there any kind of nice combination? Oh, and actually, I should think about up here, too. Is there anything that needs a brown, red, and a gold? Probably not that perfect. But, um, let's see. This is two red and a white. She won't be able to gain more, she won't be able to get enough white to do that. And, yeah, I think, I think she wouldn't be able to do anything up there. Oh, two white and a silver. But again, she will not be able to get enough white to do that. So it's coming back down here. A brown, a red, and a gold walk into a bar. Um, and a second red if she needs it. Oh, like this. Oh, look at that. If two red, then she, and 200 bucks, and she could sell something to make the 100 she needs. Yeah, yeah. She's going to want to build this because that means she can start generating double greens too. So that's very cool. So uh, that means Jen is going to need another red. So her move is going to be to come over here and use my red space. And then boom, we swap points again. She drops one. So we go right back to that. Okay. Because Jen's planning on building that. Okay. Now it's my turn again. I'll go on ahead and jump here before anybody else does because this is what I'm planning to build. And now I have to hire an artist immediately to do this. And unfortunately, the way I figured it, I don't think I'm going to have enough money. So I'm just going to go for one of the crap artists who don't cost anything, but could potentially lose me some points. So I've done that. And now Jen, let's see. Right. So what is she going to need to do? She's going to, she's going to get that red. So that's going to be the two reds. Or she's going to have to put it there. That's going to be the two reds and the gold. So these two reds and the gold plus the 150, plus this is gonna sell, basically, to get the extra money she needs, right. So she'll go on ahead and she'll put a worker here to, um, well, and what was it? It was number 16. So let's come over to the 16 pile. Oh boy, there we go, here's a 16. All right, so she's gonna build the uh, Mercantante, where you make green cubes, and I don't know what the green cubes are. Let's see, can you tell from that picture? It's a guy in a green outfit. Maybe it's food. Maybe, you know, at a nod to Kalis, maybe it is literally food is what green is. You need food to build some of these things. That would make sense. Okay, so there we go. And, um, or no, no, P food was pink in Kalis, wasn't it? Ah, well, anyway, whatever. Sorry. So she's gonna build that, and that's gonna score two points. And so she's gonna need this red, this gold, and she's gonna sell this to make the money to, for the 200. She's gonna need this 100. 
She's already put that 100, and that, this brown's gonna be, and so she needs another red, which, is she gonna be able to get, how's she gonna get that? Oh, so the other red is gonna come from over there, right, so that's all set. All right, and now me, back for my last turn, I am building, I've totally forgotten what I was gonna do. I, was, I think I was building another building, right? Yeah, that and that, or, or wait a minute, what was I gonna do? All right, so I've got all these, yeah, that's it. I was going to build another thing, but I totally forgot what it was. It was, it was I was going to have this left over, wasn't it? Brown, brown, and a white. And what was I going to try and do? I, needed, I remember I needed 200 bucks for it. So what needs 200 bucks? It's probably... Uh, sorry, folks. All right, so I'm going to... This is... All these are going to go up there for that thing, along with the gold that I'm going to get from that. And... Oh, 200 bucks is going to go up here. So that's all necessary for that. And it was gonna, I remember it was 200 bucks for the other thing I was gonna make. Which means, was it this one? Was it the Manira? No. Let's see, I've got two browns and a white left over. Sorry, I just, oh, it was uh, this. The Fondira, because there's only one of them, and I need a, oh, I only need 100 more. It was something for 200, but maybe this is even better. Or was I gonna build something here? Nah, what the heck is that? I don't remember what I was gonna do. I've changed my mind, I'm gonna go for number 13. So. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. It's, it's building number 13. Hey, the teens are still out. Let's find a 13, or the 13. There's only one of these. Okay. Right, oh, and it's gonna need a white and two browns. Now I've got two browns and a white. That's kind of backwards from what I really need. Oh, no, oh. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Uh, will I be able to get a white? I'd have to buy it for 200 from the market. I could sell this for 100, and then I'd have 200 left over, but I need 100 to build this. But I was gonna get some money from that. But now I need money left over just to be able to get that, to do that trade in. So I don't think it was this thing that I was gonna build. Gosh darn it. If only I could rewind the tape and see what it was I was gonna build. With two browns and a, and a, it must have been this. It must have been a Monera, I guess. No, because it was five points, wasn't it? it? Whatever it was, it was five points. Because I remember it was five, and I was gonna get five more someplace else. And I was really excited about that because it was gonna be 10. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. It's not this, because I've lost my chance to get the red. Oh, maybe it was that, and I was gonna get my own red, and now I failed to get that. Or no, it was the Bibliotech. That's what it was. Thanks, everybody. I'm sure you're all screaming at the, right, so yes. It's, it's number, there's only two of them. It's, it's number two. Let's just find number two. Oh, that was embarrassing. Talk about a brain fart. Here we go. I'm building a biblioteca. Right. And, and actually, I don't need to hire an artist for this. Right, so this is gonna require 200, which I'm gonna get off of that. And it's gonna require these. And that was my last placement. Okay, so I'm done. And now Jen, she still got three more workers to go. Like last time, she had more workers than me, even though I stole one from her, or arrested one. Right, and so now she was doing this. And I think she's figured all that out. And now I've totally forgotten what she was gonna do. Oh my gosh, this is hard. Keeping all this in my head. Um, well, I remember I thought about that and it wasn't gonna be one of those. Oh, it was gonna be, yeah, right. So these are the two buildings she's building. She's got that, she's got that. So she's got three more actions. Well, one of them is gonna be to come to the market. And I'm gonna say, I got no more workers. So Jen's got two more workers. What else is she gonna do with these workers? Shoot, she's got too many workers. Well, she has no gold left over to Oh no, she's gonna get this gold from me. No, I got my own gold this time. She didn't take it from me. So, she could do this, but she's not gonna have the gold to do it because the gold is gonna come over there. Now, she will have this gold, but she's saving this gold to build this uh, Mercanti, which she, okay, so let's think about this. She can go to the market and get another gold, but no, she's already gonna go to the market to get the, um, the, the, uh, the, the last white she needs. So she can only buy one thing from the market. So she wouldn't be able to buy an extra gold to be able to activate that. So putting a worker there is just kind of a waste of time because then, let's see. Yeah, she doesn't have any re leftover resources yet. So, and she, uh, is there anything else she could build? She's already gonna buy something from the market. She's not gonna have anything left over to sell. She's not gonna have anything left over to trade. So, and there's no way she's gonna be able to, so I don't believe there's anything you can build just with money. You always need cubes. Yep, I was right. Like, if she's had one more cube, she could maybe build like another uh, marble place or the uh, Orfano or whatever. But nope. So now she's got two workers who basically she's like overloaded with workers. Ah, <sighs> so rolling that six really didn't do her any good because these last two workers are basically going to pass. They're not going to do anything. Um, 
because if she just had one more goal, they could at least make her 200 more bucks. If she had gotten here before I did, hmm. Wait, oh no, wait, wait, wait. No, she's getting this red. What does she need that red for? Oh, she needs the red for this. Oh, so she does have this gold because she's getting the red from over there. Ugh. Yikes, okay, so she will come here and then with her last worker, she will pass and do nothing with that last worker. Okay, so here we go. Now, start doing the um, market. I didn't go to the market at all, but Jen did. So she is going to spend 200 bucks to buy another marble. Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait. She had one more use for her worker. It went here because she needed the worker to actually come here to do this thing. Durr. All right, so, um, right, and she had to hire an artist to do this. Did she have any money left over? She's gonna have some money left over because of that. So she should hire an artist that is worthwhile, definitely. So who should she hire to do this? Well, it has to be an artist. So it could be Filippo, this new guy, who has a two, three, four spread. Or it could be Leonardo, who has a two, three, five, seven. So Leonardo is definitely better. Um, or she could save 100 and go with this guy. What the heck, she's gonna go with Leonardo da Vinci. How often do you get to have Leonardo da Vinci paint your house, or um, you know, or sculpt your um, focaccia, whatever it is. Okay, so that was her last action. Right, she did need all those workers. Durr, sorry, this is. I mean, I'm t this game requires so much playing. There's so much going on. Trying to do this for two players at once is really doing my head in. So anyway, so Jen had previously put this worker here, had commissioned Leonardo, hadn't paid him yet. All right, and so we're just doing the market. She paid 200 to get her second of the three marbles she needs to do this. And let's see, now she could also sell something. She has this gold left over she could sell, but she's not gonna do that. She's gonna use that at the Oro. And she doesn't have two trading, so she only did one of her three potential actions at the market. The market is done. Now we do district activity. Starting with number one, I'm the first player, so we do mine first. This is me, I get a gold. Then over here, number one, Jen will trade in this gold, which was left over from last turn, and get 200 bucks, which she will use to pay off Leonardo later. Now, on to the number twos. Jen came here, and she gets a red, which she needed to finish her Mercante. And then her number two, I happen to go here, and I, oh, I did this wrong, look at this. I need 200 to turn it into 300. I don't have that 200 yet, because I didn't go to the market. I need to go to the market to sell, and I think at the time I thought that. So, basically, I blocked Jen from getting this, but I didn't get to do it myself. So that was very wasteful, that was stupid. Um, anyway, so anyway, that was number two space. Number three space, I don't have one because no worker ever gets placed here, but Jen, or no, I use Jen's number three space and get two more wood, okay? The number four space, I'm now gonna build my biblioteca, which requires two wood and a marble. And, wait a minute, how was I gonna get that 200 bucks? I was gonna get that 200 bucks by upgrading this. Oh my gosh. What have I done wrong? Oh my goodness. So I can't build this now, because I only have 100 bucks. I was gonna get the other 100 bucks from that, which meant I was gonna have, and I figured this out originally. What have I done wrong? Oh, oh, no, I do have the other, but it's just, I've hit it over here as a reminder, it needs to be over here. So, here's the two, <laughs> okay, here's the 200 bucks. Oh, but okay, so I did figure this out wrong. That means I've only, oh, that's right, I don't need any money for this, because I got a crappy artist. So here's the 200 bucks, All right, and I still got 100 left over, duh. All right, so I have built the Biblioteca, it scores me five points. One, two, three, four, five. I'm so sorry I'm being so scatterbrained here, folks, I hope you can follow it. Anyway, so yeah, that's five points, I built that. And I've still got all the resources I need to build this over here. In fact, I had 100 bucks left over. I could have hired an artist to do it instead of the lousy guy. What the heck, let's say I had figured this out. Because again, you can figure all this out ahead of time. It's just very hard for me to do this while I'm filming. So instead of hiring that guy, I had hired this guy because I will have enough to pay his salary, okay, to do that. So anyway, so I've done the bibliotheque in my number four. Now Jen, she's got two things in a row. She um, generates another marble, which she's gonna be using over here for building that. And she is now going to build her mercantile, which she needs 200 bucks for, and she needs her two red. <gasps> Where's her gold? Oh no! Oh my gosh, I got rid of that gold, didn't I? What did I do with that gold? I needed that gold, but I used it over here to get the 200 bucks. But if I didn't have the 200 bucks, I wouldn't have had enough to do this. 
And so now I can't build this because I've got a wood left over instead of a gold. Because that gold, I bought, I couldn't buy a, oh my gosh. So okay, if nothing else, you guys are definitely getting an idea for just how complicated and brain destroying this game is. Particularly if you try to play it two players at once. So I could never have made that. Because I didn't have the gold left over because I needed the gold to make the money to build it. And then I didn't have the money to build it. So, okay, let's back up here. So I did not have, so I'd gotten this, and I'd, I'd been left over with this instead of this. So instead of, instead of having chosen to build this, which required two red and a gold, is there anything that required two red and a wood, which I actually do have? Because here's the thing, if I got here and I could not build this, I would basically, the punishment is for, for planning poorly and screwing up like this, you lose a point. But, if I'd just not been an idiot, is there anything that two wood and, or two red and a wood, two red and a wood, Anything anywhere with two red and a wood? Two red, two brown. No, there's not. Two red and a gold, a red and a wood. Well, you know what, what the heck? Let's say I built this instead. The less nice version. I was hoping to build the Mercanti, which generates two greens, but instead I'll build the Sedaia, which does two red. Oh, that's not too bad, it's two reds. Alrighty, because that only, no wait, no, I needed no, it's this one, the, the spa, the Spali. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I'm gonna build this one, which is number 27. So I gotta come into the 20s. Oh, sorry, I have to keep retro. I know a lot of people hate it when I do this. But, all right, so this is what I had planned to build. Like uh, the genius that I am all that time ago. So I'd trade in the wood to get the money, not that I need the money, I have excess money. So I'm gonna have a red left over. And Jen was foolish, actually, to lose a point to get that red that she never used. But anyway, so, pays 100, and a brown, and a red, and builds this, and it is worth one point. So Jen scores another point. Okay, so that was it for that. That was all the district activities, and now there are artworks. Both Jen and I are building one. I'm first player, so I'll do mine first. Here's the guy. I need to pay this guy 100 bucks. I happen to have 100 bucks. And I need to give up these four cubes. Um, some wood, some gold leaf, some stone, and some dye. And boom, I have built the atrium of the bank, and I score five more points. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that was my work of art. Jen, she, uh, oh, wait, oh, and I paid him so I get to roll a die and see how many victory points, bonus points I get. Up, oh, oh, come on. A three. Doesn't count if it lands half on that. A three is two points, so I get two more points. One, two, All right. And now Jen, she's building this. It required, remember the three, um, what do you call it? The three marble. And she had to pay Leonardo's salary and Leonardo uh, as a sculptor is 150. And so now Jen gets to roll to see what Leonardo does. And she, she, she gets a four, no, she gets a, a four, five or six. It's a masterpiece. So come on, Leo, right? Yes. Come on, Leo, don't let us down. Four, five, or six. A five, boom. Leo Nardo's masterpiece. Uh, Jen rolled a five, she gets four victory points, and we flip this, he'll never do another masterpiece. She gets one, two, three, four for that, plus five for having built it. One, two, three, four, five, plus one more influence in the church. Right, and so Leonardo goes home, and Jen puts a marker here to indicate she did that. Oh, and once again, I forgot. I forget it. When you hire this, when Jen keeps hiring this guy to get the workers, she gets another influence with the church. So, boom, Jen has made it. She will be the bishop next year and start stealing workers from me, basically, to make up for me stealing workers from her. And now this is heartbreaking. Jen has this red left over. If she had never sent this worker over here, then um, the point spread would actually be a point in the opposite direction, and Jen would be in the lead now, and she would get bishop and captain. And let's say I did that because I got so mixed up, she never needed to take that red, I didn't have the, so nobody got a red, Jen doesn't have this red left over, instead, she came out on top, because I lost a lot of points going for her, and she didn't go for me at all, because she never went for that red, because she didn't need to. I meant she had a worker that she wasted, but no big. All right, so, this guy goes home, and I was, okay, and so now we reevaluate turn order. What do you know? Um, Jen gets to be the bishop, 
and Jen is top dog, so she gets to be the captain. So she scores 12 of these things, 10, 11, 12, and resets her points. So obviously next turn, there's no way Jen's gonna catch up. I'm definitely gonna be captain next year, no matter what. Um, but anyway, so Jen, and this is interesting, Jen takes first place for being the captain, and we have another one, she gets both these. So Jen gets first player, I'm second player, and she gets to be both the captain and the bishop next year. So that's gonna be very good for her. Um, very nice. And because she has now built here, I, I don't know if I mentioned this, I remember, remember, if you don't build at least one thing in your Chietza, by the end of the game, you'll lose four points. Um, so now she's basically gotten four points by building one thing here. Same thing for this. Jen hasn't built anything here. She's standing to lose four points. Whereas I won't lose something because I built something here. And remember, you also lose points for every space you didn't build. So anyway, oh, that was so embarrassing. I am very sorry, folks. I really should have probably figured that turn out ahead of time before I just started recording because I could have actually worked it all out instead of trying to get myself so mixed up. But anyway, that was a second year. So, all right, so anyway, Jen, we move on to the third of eight years. We clean up, everybody goes, oh, all of these guys go away. Jen's favorite priest is gone. Out of the game, gone, gone, gone. Everybody slides over, so Leonardo is almost out of the game. And now three new ones join us. One, two, three. Number one, number 12, and number 13. Let's just put them out, just see who, see who joins us this turn. All right, uh, there's number one, who is a, in a level three guy. It's a sculptor. And number 12 and number 13. That's nice, easier to find. Ah, although with one hand, right out of the way. Uh, there we go. So here's number 13, who goes into slot number four, and number 12, who goes into slot number three. I'm running out of space here, folks, sorry. And so he goes there, and he goes there. And so we've got some new guys. Um, still no architects anywhere amongst them. So if we ever want to build a building, we're gonna to have to go to the craft guy. All right, but anyway, we then start with collecting income again, and now Jen is both, oh, that's gonna be destroy, she's gonna destroy me. As captain of income, she can arrest one of my workers, and then as the bishop, she can convert one of my workers. So I'm gonna start, I get one, extra for the Palagio, but I'm going to lose two. So next turn, I am definitely going to have to go to the church. And what do you know? The two church, the special church guys just left. So I'm going to have to go to the crappy church guy who only gives me two workers. So I'm going to have to spend money, a hundred bucks, just to break even on workers after Jen steals my two workers over there. Oh, wow. But on the flip side, I've got more points than her. So it's anybody's game at this point. I'm definitely stopping there, and you guys can hit the button um, to go to final thoughts. And five... Four, three, two, one.